What's going on YouTube? Link's Forte here with my first battle commentary video. Uh, I had this battle probably like two years ago, probably maybe like the first three or four months going into uh, Oras. But this is against Alex. And the reason why I'm, I still have this video is because it was a really good battle. And I want you guys to see it. I'm using a version of a sand team that has been changed over the years. But I'm going to leave it off with my hip on while she leads off with her Garchomp. And uh, I'm thinking this is a lead Garchomp with Stealth Rock, Dragon Tail. No, this is a Source Dance Garchomp. So I'm just going to go with my Stealth Rocks. Not knowing if I could really take an uh, Earthquake from a Garchomp. So I'm just, I'm pretty sure I just click Toxic. And uh, when you know it, I get critted by an Earthquake. And now I'm sitting in front of a plus two Garchomp. Uh, the one good thing is that this thing is carrying a life orb so what I need to do right now is just to get some good damage off on it so I go out into my Heliolisk and I don't know if this Heliolisk is Choice Specs or Choice Scarf I'm assuming it's Choice Scarf because that's just something I like to run but uh, obviously I'm not going to be able to take you know an Earthquake I just wanted to get the damage off so then I could bring in my Scizor and go ahead and just revenge kill this thing with a Bullet Punch so down goes the threatening Garchomp, and uh, that makes things easy for me the rest of the battle. Although right now I'm kind of in a bit of a hole, sitting at five to four. And now she brings out her own Scizor. Now I don't know what her Scizor is going to want to do, but obviously I'm choice I'm choice banded into a Bullet Punch right now, so I just need to get out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Magna Zone, and I'm just going to trap this thing. She goes for a Defog to get the rocks off of her field. And that's going to be a very important move later on down the road. So I have this thing trapped with Magna Pool, and I'm going to go for a Hidden Power Fire just to knock it out. Now her Scizor is gone. I don't know what it could have done, but it's not something I need to worry about anymore. Now she's going to go out in her Charizard. I don't know if this is going to be a Charizard X, Charizard Y, but as you can see, it is a Charizard X. So I'm just going to go for a T-Bolt, uh, get, get off some chip damage, but... I'm not choice, so I'm going to get taken out by this big Flare Blitz. Now, the good thing about this Charizard, you know, going for a Flare, bl flare Blitz is that it's going to take a lot of recoil damage because I was at full health, and it's going to take a Sandstorm damage. So I can bring in something, you know, just to take a hit from it and then take it out. So I'm going to go into my Tyranitar, and this is a Mega Tyranitar. Now, I know even if this thing has Earthquake, I can take an Earthquake from, you know, a non-boosted Charizard X. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go for Dragon Dance. Now, sitting at plus one speed and attack, I can do some serious damage to anything on her team. So, my Sand is gone, unfortunately, but I'm just going to go for a Crunch, because I'm thinking she may have wanted to switch. But, she go, I go for the Crunch, and uh, it's not going to take out the Charizard. But I can take another Dragon Claw, no problem. And I'm just going to go for a Crunch again because there's no reason to go for anything else. Best to play is safe. So down goes Charizard X, the wall breaker that it is. And then she brings in Star Raptor. And let's note here that this Star Raptor is not Intimidate, which means it most likely has the Reckless ability. But she's going to go for the U-turn, get, get Star Raptor out of there. And then uh, she's going to switch... So she takes out, she takes out my Tyranitar, and then she's gonna bring her Scolipede. Now I have no way to get the sand back up. Can't do any damage to anything anymore. But she brings her Scolipede. I'm gonna go into my Gastrodon. Not uh, thinking, you know, hey, this thing is just gonna set up some Source Dances and uh, get some speed boosts up. I just go for the Earthquake or the Earth Power. Uh, mind you, this is before the baton pass clause of Smogon. So that's why I'm thinking source dance, but our uh, speed boost baton pass. So I go for the earth power, get the damage off. She goes for a second layer of spikes and just to play it safe thinking, you know, Hey, she may want to bring in star Raptor or she will baton pass at that moment. I went for the scald and the scald doesn't take it all the way out. This gives her her second speed boost. Now she has two layers of spikes up as well. And now she's going to baton pass into the Star Raptor. So I go I go for the Scald again, and I'm hoping to get this burn to catch it. And wouldn't you know it, I don't get the burn. 
So it's unfortunate, but Star Raptor going for this Brave Bird while I'm still at full health, it is going to take a lot of recoil damage. Now, this makes things easy because I still have my Choice Bandit Scizor in the back. So all I have to do is bring in Scizor and bullet punch everything, and that should end the battle. So Scizor comes in, gets hurt by some spikes, no big deal. Bullet punch to the Star Raptor. Star Raptor goes down, no more Brave Burden. Scolipede comes in. Scolipede is almost dead. So it's just going to get hit with a bullet punch as well. Her last Pokemon here is Gengar. Uh, Gengar is so frail. Bullet punch takes this thing out. So obviously I go for bullet punch. Boom. And unfortunately this thing has a focus sash. Now I'm just thinking I lost this battle. I can't do anything with Gengar. And what makes matters worse is she goes for Disable. So she hits me with a Shadow Ball, and I'm thinking, oh, that's it. I, I lost. But Scizor manages to live. But I have no moves, so I just go for Struggle. Take out the Gengar, battle over. I also take the Recoil damage, and it actually knocks me out. But because I went down to Recoil damage, and instead of her own damage, or her damage in me, it actually gives me the win for this battle. So it was a 0 0 battle, but because, you know, I got the last hit in, I actually won. Great battle. Um, the battle coming soon, hopefully. Guys, like, comment, subscribe, and see you then.